really cute this kitty. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to this video where we are gonna do a try on haul. I'm sorry, I stole your bed. <laughs> Let me just put up my hair because I just <sighs> blow dried it. What is this? Why do I look like a traffic cone? Is this my look? Well, is this my look? Is this better? This obviously isn't better. Okay, this is what we're doing right now. Uh, oh, let me put on some, some earrings. L is for love. Oh, forgot my ring. You see my sexy pants? Extra points for you if you knew what movie that was from. I am gonna open the package and I am gonna do a try on haul. This package is from Lyko, as you can see. Lyko is a Scandinavian like online retailer. No, they have stores as well. They actually have a store in my hometown. They are specializing in hair care and body care and makeup and skincare and all that. They have all of it. It's huge. They have so many brands and I actually got this package for free. I did get sent this as PR. I got I got to pick the things myself. I took my address out. They gave me a gift certificate and I got to pick these things myself and I am here to show you what it is. This, I ordered this on Thursday and it got delivered on Friday and I'm filming this on Sunday. So I'm like, whoa! I'm feeling really good about myself. This video isn't sponsored. They did give me these for free. Uh, oh well, I did actually order for more things than the gift certificate was. So. Technically, I did buy some of these things myself, but this video isn't sponsored. I don't have to do anything at all with this. I mean, that's how PR works. If I want to do something with it, I will. But I thought, since I know what I ordered, I know I ordered a full, like almost a full face. So let's, let's try it on because I just got out of the shower. I just blow dried my hair. And I thought, why don't we, why don't we do a little try on haul? This one has a little card that says, Congratulations for a good purchase. Let's hope so. And then a lot of paper and ooh, look at the items here. This is so exciting. Ooh, I really do like Liko. I mentioned them before. I do a lot of shopping from Liko myself. And I bought so many fun things. Oh my God. And it's really good packaging as well. I mean, look at this. They packaged just so nice. Like, they are really taking care of the items here. Like, look at this. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this first. I was so excited. This is where I started adding things that wasn't covered by, like, the gift certificate. Because I was like, oh my god, they had these. Remember I mentioned these as my favorite skincare, like, uh, one of my two favorite sheet masks of 2019. These are the Apio. Is that correct? I hope so. Icing Sweet Bar Sheet Mask. And I got... Watermelon and regular melon. I think we call it honey melon. Honey, honey dew maybe? And then it's Hana, Hana, Hanrabong. Hanrabong? I've never tried. I love these. These are fresh and hydrating and so nice on the skin. And I love how these feel and they smell amazing. And then I also got a pineapple. I love these. And I'm so excited that they have it at Lico. So if you wanted to try a really nice uh, sheet mask, I will leave the link down below to these. They are so nice and they were really affordable at Lico. I also got a fourth uh, mask. Uh, the This one was from Epio and this is from Misha. I've tried some Misha before and I really like it. And this is with honey. Pure source cell sheet mask with honey. I really like honey and skincare, so I'm super excited to be trying this one out as well. Okay, it's supposed to be a hydrating and glow-giving mask. I also got a hair oil. I think I'm gonna finish uh, my hair with this one because, well, you can see my hair was... <laughs> look at this. I do need um, some hair oil in my hair. I usually do that one after I blow dried it. This is a healing and repairing treatment for all hair types. This is from Beauty but it's just spelled a bit differently. This is how it's spelled. And I've heard great things about this, people really loving it and people really loving the smell of this. So let's end with that one. And then I have, let, should we start with the foundation? Because I know that this is the foundation. I know that this is the foundation. Because I got the healthy foundation. Yeah, the Physician's Formula, the healthy foundation. Did I get a good match? Maybe. I got it in light neutral. LN3 light neutral. Light neutral sounds like something I would like. So let's, so let's start with that one. Uh, and let's put the rest on the floor and we can pick it up once we want to use it. So let me start with this one. Should I shake it? Maybe. How do you open this? Is it a... Oh, it's a... 
Oh, I got a sponge here. Spongy, spongy. So let's. I just have some skincare on. So no primer, but just skincare. Is that a good shade? It could be a bit too light, but I do have. I do have a, a bronzer in this package as well, so we'll just fix that afterwards, as long as it's not the Miss Piggy shade that you either saw in a video just recently, or you will see soon, because that was... that was not good. I don't know how I feel about the smell. I have a faint recollection of people loving this foundation. Am I right? I feel like people love this. I'm so happy that we have Physicians Formula in Sweden now. Maybe this is a good shade. Is this too light? I don't think it is. So far, this is like a medium coverage. Or not even that, because I didn't use that much. So let's see if we can just add a little more just here on my cheeks and just where I feel like I might need a little bit coverage, more coverage just today. I don't know how I feel about this. Scent. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say anything about the scent, but let's say I'm not in love. It smells a bit old, in a way. Not like it's rancid, but just like old textiles. I don't know. I mean, that looks really good. I do feel like it looks pretty good, right? I do know that I have a new concealer. Ugh! And where is it? Okay, here's the new concealer. It is the NYX Born to Glow. I'm super excited to be trying this. This is the Radiant Concealer in... I think I got this in the pretty light shade. Pale. <laughs> got this in pale. So this looks like a tube, but I don't think it's like... Oh, it's one of those little puffy things, but this one looks a bit cheap and it's pretty hard. Let's see if we can squeeze some up. Okay, okay. I don't know how I feel about the puff, because it's so hard. I mean, the puff is like a rock. The puff is not a puff. It's a rock with a blanket on it. That is really light, though. Maybe I should just do a lot of <laughs> highlighting with this. I mean, you can dot out wherever you want this to be, obviously. But... There's no blending with this little ro rocky thing here. The blanket rock, it's it won't be, it won't be blending anything. Let me tell you. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be a bit more of a radiant, like is, yeah, radiant concealer. So maybe not a full matte then. I guess blends out really nicely. I have to say, that's pretty impressive. I mean, I'm not doing a lot of work to making that look pretty nice, not gonna lie. I have a lot of concealer under my eyes, but since it's so light, I decided to do a lot of highlighting with it. I do love a really bright under eye. I know that this is like 2013 Kim Kardashian, but I still love a light under eye. Sue me. <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is a full coverage, but it looks really fresh and nice under the eyes. It does, but it's definitely not a full coverage. I can still see some of my dark circles through, and that can also be because I chose one that's so light. Uh, because usually when you pick something that's lighter, you're gonna accentuate the, the darkness. I don't feel like I had that much dark circles though, so I'm not too mad about it. I do feel like this looks pretty fresh and okay, but I definitely am in need of some kind of bronzer. So let me see if I have some bronzer, and then maybe I can do my brows, because I don't think I bought any brow products. <laughs> Let me see what I have in this one. I see a bronzer. Oh, here it is. Because I got the Milani bronzer. I've heard some people really loving this one. Oh, and there's a blush as well. This is the Milani Sunkissed uh, Silky Matte Bronzer in... Oh, the, the, the color is Sunkissed. So I got a number two Sunkissed. It seems like a really nice neutral chocolatey brown. I think I heard Kelly Gooch really loving this one. Is it this one that she loved? I think so, but this seems to be a really nice color. It smells a bit of that suntan -y thing, but not as strong as the Physicians Formula, which is a good thing because I'm not the biggest fan of makeup that smells like this, but I really like the compact. That is, that's really nice and luxurious, but still not too bulky. So let me put this down so we can bronze. Oh, it picks up a lot of product. 
That's a nice color, isn't it? I like that. Reminds me a lot of the Physician's Formula in color, not gonna lie, but I do think that this one is more pigmented than the Butter Bronzer is, and that could be a good or a bad thing. I like a lot of bronzers, so I kinda like that, but if you are afraid of going overboard, maybe the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer would be better for you. I really do love mine uh, from them, to be fair, and you can buy that at Lico as well. Uh, it's a really nice one. I've hit pan on mine so badly, but I actually I think Kelly is onto something here. This is beautiful. And obviously I went in too, too hard because that's... Eh, don't come for me. I think that looks really good. Maybe I went a bit <laughs> overboard with the bronzer, but... Who doesn't like to be a bit bronzed? I love being a bit bronzed. You know, I'm always talking about that tan I'm gonna get. But it's only because I tan so easily during the summer, but it's such a like high winter in Sweden right now So not doing that good when it comes to the tanning because I don't do tanning beds and sunless tanner I'm just I'm too lazy to keep that going all the time But I like how that is looking. I think it looks really fierce and nice and my like <laughs> I can get radio with these what is going on? I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna powder a bit because I didn't uh, I didn't buy a powder So I will do that and I'll be back and we'll do the blush and the highlight because I have uh, I'm so looking forward, you know blush has been my favorite thing lately and I got such a pretty highlighter thing You're gonna die when you see it. Okay, this is what it looks like right now And I have a couple of things left in my uh, box and I am so looking forward to wearing I got another one of these sweet cheeks in glow. I have one from before. Let me see what shade I have uh, I have an orangey one. This one is in Summer Breeze. You can see it's a bit orangey. But now I got one in Totally Chill. Oh, these stickers. Killing me. Just really love the quality of these and they're so affordable. Oh, look at that plummy shade. So pretty. Come here. Oh, it's like a... Oh, mm, so pretty. It's like a dark mauvey plum with shimmer. Super excited and then I got this highlighter thing and I've been wanting this for a while and I saw they had it at Liquid and I was like oh, Do I want this? And yes, I do. This is the sleek love shook highlighting palette and This is actually I think is this the third or this I think this is the third Sleek palette I've owned and I really really loved the solstice one But uh, they weren't really exactly the kind of colors that I go for because they're really icy with like bright pink inside Ooh, it's like that coppery ooh, ooh. And then I own the duochrome one. I didn't really like that and it had like was it two creams and one was like so sheer this one Let me take the look. It's like all pinky and it's all like Powders, so there's a no like cream in this one. Let me show you So these are the shades and they are so pretty all like pinky Burgundy lavender. Oh I Am so excited to be wearing these so I think I ooh, They're so pretty. Let me touch them. Ooh, that's like a lavender lavender pink that is such a pretty blush shade and this one as well. Ooh, look at that. And then we have this one, that icy pink. So I think that I could probably wear these, not this darkest one, but if I wear these three, maybe if I mix them a bit, I can wear them on my cheekbones. This one, if I mix it with a lighter, and then obviously this one is more of a blush. But I'm super excited. Let me put the blush on first and then I'll top with some of these shades. Okay, so blush first. Did I put something on my brush? Yes. Ooh, that is so pretty. Why do I have hairs everywhere? Did I scratch myself here? Probably. I love being a bit blush heavy. That's why I got a blush that's so dark because I love that look. And I know that I'm not gonna be wearing a heavy eye look today, so I thought it'd be fun with a like more of a blush heavy look. That is so pretty. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit with my bronzer brush. I just went over it with my powder brush as well, just to buff it in and just 
not have it being too stark but that is really pretty look and I'm so excited a bit about doing something a bit more blush heavy so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dipping into this palette now I think I'll be doing I think I'll be doing this shade here the pinky one on the apples and then I'll do these two shades on my cheekbone so let's start with the cheekbone shades first and then I'll go down uh, on the apple So this is the purple and the pink mixed. That's pretty. I'm just topping it with some of that icy pink to not make it too, too dark. And now I'm taking some of that pink on my apples. It's really pigmented. So I do think that if you have a darker skin tone, you can make this work on you as well because it's actually quite pigmented, not gonna lie. That's a very striking pink cheek. I like that. I love doing a blush heavy look when I know I'm not gonna do that much of eye makeup. Ugh. Let me get my box back because I only have a couple of things uh, left in my box. I have some lashes from Eyelore. These are the most wanted lashes in Lust List. I think that's what they're called. You see, it's so shiny. And then I have a lip liner from MAC because they do carry MAC at Lico. This one is in oak, so it's like a darker brown. And then I have an eyeliner, so I'm gonna do a bit of a colored liner. I'm so excited. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in I Have a Green. I'm so excited that both Essence and Catrice are now available at Lico. That is so exciting. And this is also from Essence. This is the perfect shine lipstick. You know how I feel about a shine lipstick. This is in uh, 01. So should I start with lips maybe? Ooh. Let me start with lips. So I'll take the oak liner. I'm just gonna line my lips and just fade it in a bit and then go over with the shine one. Let me see how the oak one is looking. So it's not that dark, but it's also not like a super light beige. And then let's see how this... That's a pretty like corally shade. Hmm, smells like lipstick. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but ugh. As long as it looks good on the lips. So let me start with the oak one. Why has nobody told me about this color before? It's beautiful. It's like perfect. I love this color. This color is beautiful. It's a lovely dark beige neutral color. Absolutely lovely. So let me put the 01 from Essence on and I thought it was gonna be more slick. I always think that everything's gonna be like Linda Halbe's Fantastics, but this is actually quite lovely. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love that. It's like semi sheer. It's got a nice warm peach color. It's like a satin sheen, but you can still see the lip liner through, so it looks a bit ombre. Mm. Tastes a bit sweet. I'm glad it doesn't taste like like lipstick. Although it doesn't taste like good either, but oh, I'm so annoyed by this. Why do I do this to myself? Mm, I've got to stop scratching yourself, Angie. Anyways, I think this looks so great. So we're gonna do the Essence uh, Long Lasting Eye Pencil. Oh, it's one of those. It's like a really nice, it's the same color as this one. Is it a sparkly one? Yeah, I think it's a bit like, it's got a bit of metallic sheen to it and so does this container. So it's nice to know that the color of the eye pencil is actually the same color as this one. Let me see if I can do a liner. Oh, this goes on really nice. It's like a kilometer to the mirror from here. So me being able to do this with the mirror being so far from me, I deserve a diploma. Am I gonna do wing? Let me do wing. That is a really pretty color, not gonna lie. I really like how that is looking. I think I'm gonna leave, although I did get some green here. <laughs> 
But I think I'm gonna leave my lower lash line as uh, soon as I can get this out. And I'm just gonna do some mascara and I'll come back and we'll put the lashes on. I like that though, isn't that cute? Such a nice color. That's why I brought this top out because I think it's gonna match. Am I wrong? I hope not. Okay, so I finished the two wings. Uh, they are not... I mean, they're, they're like distant cousins. They're definitely not twins, but it's okay. They're, they're, they're like related at least. They'll see each other at Christmas over the dry ham. I'm gonna put the most wanted lust list uh, lashes on from Eyelure. I haven't had the best luck with Eyelure, but people have been telling me, when I say people, I mostly mean my friends in real life, that not all the series from Eyelure are created equal. So we're gonna try this one today. They look really nice. How do I get these off without ruining them? I love me a pair of good lashes. These are obviously too long for me, so I'm gonna have to trim them a bit. They look really nice though. How much do I need to trim? Just a little bit. Scissors, nurse. So I'm just gonna trim off a bit here. And uh, I am cutting off, shoop, shoop. I'm cutting off like this much. I don't know if you can see, it's just a tiny, tiny part. Just like a little end, <laughs> little end, and I'm cutting that one off, and this one is gonna fall in my lap. This is gonna fit me so much better now. Yeah, that's gonna be great. So let me fix that with the other one as well, and put some glue on, and then we'll just stick them onto my... <laughs> to my eyes. Okay, there is actually glue that's included in this pack, but I'm just gonna use my tried and true. Right now, it is the Hus Flashes glue that I have that I am going through, so that's what I'm putting on mine. Okay, so there's a couple of tricks to like how to get your lashes to to work for you. Number one is definitely to trim them like I did. Take them on your lash line and see if they're too long. They are probably too long because let's be fair, most of the time they're too long. I don't know of many lashes that I have tried where I didn't have to trim them at all. It's very few and far between, let me tell you that. And then once you have trimmed them, make sure you always trim in the outer edge because they're usually a tiny bit flared. So you wanna cut at the outer edge because otherwise you're gonna cut off the edge that is flared toward your inner corners and it's gonna make them whoop, a bit stubby at the at the beginning. So you're just starting real, real weird. So you wanna keep the part where it's the, the tiniest like you can see on this lash. You can see it's starting out a bit smaller here and then going going to a bit longer at the end. So you don't want to cut at the short end because it's gonna look weird towards your like inner corners. And then when you put the glue on, you wait. At least a minute. At least a minute you have to wait for the glue to get a bit tacky. Most glues nowadays that you buy like this, they will change color a bit when it's ready, when it's tacky enough. Because when it's, if it's not, it's just gonna be a bit slippery and it's not gonna stick to where you put it. It's just gonna slide around and it's not gonna be a good time. This one changes to a bit more of a see-through when it's like done. You also have the ones that are black. They usually have a bit of a tint to it, so the tint comes out. I know that the House of Lashes black glue turns a bit oh, of a greeny tint when it's done. So usually that is what happens, that it changes usually to a more transparent color when it's like tacky and you can put on the lid. Don't do it before. And also make sure to trim them a bit before you put the lash glue on. The third and final uh, step to making them easier or making them look better on your eyes, according to me, is to use a tool like this. Not for application. I see some people using this as application. No. This is the tool where you put it on like the lash band where you have one side under your own lashes and one side on top of the falsies and then you press them together so you don't get the gap. We all know it, the gap. We don't want the gap. So that's what I'm gonna do once this has dried a bit. So I'm gonna need a second. Okay, so the first lash has changed color a bit and it is now a bit see through the glue. So I am gonna scooch a bit closer, can you see? And I am gonna just Pluck it down where I want it. I'm putting it down at the outer edge first where I want it to be and I'm trying to put it where the lid and the lash meets at the absolute lash band. And I'm using a tweezer. I, I like using a tweezer because I feel like it gives me more precision and I'm taking the tweezer on the hair of the inner part. Let go. And I'm just putting that towards the inner and I'm just pressing it down a bit. This is where I'm gonna leave it. 
and I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute or so while I'm putting the other one on and then we're gonna push that gap together. Usually when I have the lashes on I like to push them up a bit because I want my lashes to be pointing upwards not outwards. I don't want to I don't want to shield. I want it to be like a fan upwards because I want the lashes to be seen. So I like pushing them up a bit while the glue is still a bit tacky. So we're going to push them together now. So now I'm taking out my tool that I completely lost. Here it is and now I'm putting it like I said before one side uh, under my lashes and one side on top of the falsies and I just press on the lashes, not on your lid. And there you go. No gap and the lashes are looking really fierce and nice. Now you can see like the rest of my face as well, like my face makeup, how it's looking and I have to say, I think everything looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna take down my hair so we can what is this? Oh my god, I'm like a merengue. Oh god, oh god. Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> what is this? We're gonna use a bit of the... See, this is why you shouldn't put your hair up like this. We're gonna use a bit of that hair oil. I'm gonna see if it smells as nice as it should. This is very voluminous. Is it supposed to look like this? Who knows? Let me take my ring off before I put oil on it. So this is the beauty healing and repairing treatment for all hair types. So let me see how I feel about this. It supposedly smells really nice. I took two pumps. I think that's gonna be enough. Ooh, that smells... That smells so nice. Like warmth and candy. Warm candy in a good way. Oh, my hair its going to smell so nice when Ricardo comes back from work. Okay, so that is it. That is the finished look. I quite like this and I like... Because, I mean, Lico sells a lot of different eyeshadows, but I'm happy that I didn't get any. I'm happy that I tried more skin products and that I got a green eyeliner instead and just went with a different kind of a look. Because I feel like sometimes going with color isn't necessarily going all in Instagram glam. It can be just a colored liner like this. It doesn't have to be more like that. Because even though I am somewhat still dewy, glowy, because this foundation is looking so fresh on my skin, I hope you got a good look. It's looking really nice. Like with the pink glowy cheeks and everything. I love that I did a stronger blush for this look because it's so like light with the lips and the liner. But it doesn't have to be... Even though it's an everyday look, even though it's not a bunch of eyeshadows and like a smoky, sultry, bright look, it's still, it's still a bit of green. You don't have to go overboard. You can play a bit with color even though you don't want to do like a full-on happy clown. Even though I like that as well. But I am going to go out and I am going to get some... Oh, I want to film another video. Maybe I'll do that. I'll film another video. If you want to check out the links down below, please do that. If you do shop through my links, the links are affiliated. So I do make a commission if you buy through them. And if you do, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And even if you're not buying through the links, just clicking on them does help me a bit. Just so you Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to be subscribed, please do. I upload at least four videos a week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.